Okay guys, so I'm gonna film how I do my hair. Um, kinda just for the heck of it because I gotta do it anyways. So, I mean, I guess if anybody was curious, I'm just gonna go ahead and film it and then I don't have to worry about if anybody wants to see it to do it later. It's already done. So I just did my makeup for you guys. And um, so a little bit about my hair. Um, it is definitely frizzy because I hair like I had um, blue dry it, blow dried it, whatever I want to phrase it. Um, so it's a little bit frizzy on the end just because of that. Um, I usually I got a little bit of a different haircut because after um, breastfeeding for those six weeks and stuff, my hair kind of got a little dry, and after the baby, you know, my hormones changing, so it got a little dry there for a little while. Um, so I changed up my haircut instead of going short. I got some like very um, soft layers, I guess you could say, and I got curtain bangs to kind of get the dead stuff off my face. And I just want to say I absolutely love my haircut. Huge shout out, shout out to Sydney. Um, and I got to keep my length. So my hair has gotten to where it's a little bit healthier. Um, my curls are super like very well defined. I absolutely love my curls because pregnancy just gave me beautiful curls basically okay I love my curls um and so yeah and I just had my hair braided I had Cindy braid my hair and y'all it was in there I washed my I hadn't washed my hair for almost a whole week the braids were in there for almost a whole week but they were she put them in Wednesday evening like at two kind of two wait yeah, at two, and I didn't take them out until Sunday night. So yeah, my hair is super duper soft now, and I'm like, that is exactly what I needed was to give my hair a break from everything, and like, just leave it alone basically. So I am first thing first. I'm going to part my hair, which I forgot in my eye clips, but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna part my hair. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, I am no like hair. Oh, that hurt. Um, I'm definitely no hair expert. I kind of just do what works for me. So keep that in mind when I'm like doing this, that this is just how I do my hair and what works for me. So don't be hating and don't be so judgy. Um, so let me part my hair. I'm going to look like a crazy woman. Okay, I feel like it's gonna fall, but I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna steal a clip from Mindy to kind of hold my hair. These are so dang cute. I may just steal a couple of these because these are really freaking cute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna steal them. I'll ask before I just steal them. But, um, damn, yeah, maybe. Oh, there's one. Okay. I'm like, I just need one clip to hold it. Oh, and it's broken. It's broken. Um, oh, well, I'll manage without it. So, let's go ahead. That's not holding my hair at all. So let me see if I can. And that's upside down. No wonder that's probably not holding it. Okay, like I said, I look like a crazy woman, but it is what it is. So I'm literally gonna go in and curl it. Um, when I dried it, um, I put this stuff in it while it was like kind of wet and stuff. It's just oh, that's the wrong side. It's really awesome. This stuff smells like heaven. Okay, it smells like heaven. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Might have a little too much in there now, but you just put it in the ends and it kind of just, I think it's kind of like a, kind of like a heat protectant, kind of like, um, like a, it kind of helps mend your split ends, stuff like that. It's like good for a lot of things. And I've noticed that it makes your hair shine and it just makes my hair super duper soft. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of that. And I just run it through. I kind of focus on my ends and then I just like run my hands through my hair. So like I said, I'm going to curl my hair today. And it's absolutely like, I don't know, you may or may not be able to see this very well. I thought there was something in my hair for a second. Okay, so I'm going to take this side because depending on what side it is depends on how, like which way I curl it. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'll try to make sure I show you guys. I may need to move the camera a little bit, but I literally just take my straightener. And literally. That is that. Let me see if I can move my hair and show you guys the curl. Voila. Just like that. So I'm gonna come in here, do this piece. Oh. 
like literally you guys i'll show you the reason i'm gonna i wanted to do this hair with tutorial was for one like i said i was already gonna do my hair because i have to go run errands and i just did my makeup for you guys um and my straightener was over here let's be real but also um i really liked curtain bangs but i also didn't know how to style them and like what to do and so it's kind of hard to find them that aren't like like tutorials that aren't i guess for like your more like I don't know it's like it's I don't wear my hair like that type thing you know what I mean like so it's hard it was hard to find a tutorial that was just simple like I just want to know how to blend my bangs into my curls or I just want to know how to do my bangs if I want to wear my hair straight like literally all that curl kind of messed up but I might just go with it see that one piece did not curl but we're gonna leave it alone I put that piece up there and we're going to and I curl my hair way better and way faster with a straightener okay so yeah I just I like curling my hair with a straightener way better and like I said it's way faster so that's how I do it and now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna whoop, no, wait until I do this side or actually no I'm gonna go and spray that like those curls with some hairspray um I just use Nexus I go very light because I don't want it to like actually like uh, like I said I go very light I just wanted to kind of hold a little bit like have a nice light hold because that is like maximum hold hairspray um because what I'm gonna do is at the end I will brush like comb through my curls with my hands and like help loosen them up so now that i'm on the other side of my hair i'm gonna go the other way when i curl i'm gonna make that piece a little smaller i think okay like i said i always curl away from my face so that's why i kind of split my hair into two sides especially in the back is so that like it'll still blend in. and so i'm not gonna lie y'all my curls I don't do the, I don't do, um, so much you call it. I don't do the straightener the exact same every single time, especially when I switch sides. So sometimes my curls do come out like a little different. Oh, I just burned myself a little different. And also be careful not to burn yourself y'all, which is something I do all the time. So you will live, but it does suck. Just a heads up. And actually I may do this. But yeah, like I said, I use, I do the straightener different every time I curl, when I switch sides, it just kind of happens. And it's okay though, because I've never, I've never noticed it to actually like, be like a big deal. Like so. And the straightener I'm using is literally the Sephora brand straightener. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the reason I really like it is because, um, 100% y'all it has a lock like feature so literally you can't change the temperature or turn it off even without like hitting the lock button so like I've hit the temperature button to go up and down like five million times right now see that curl is way different than all my other ones but it'll be okay um I've hit it like five million times not gonna lie but it has that feature on there so I cannot like change the temperature it's stuck at the temperature it doesn't do anything which i love that okay because let me be honest here i get so mad when i accidentally would turn off my straightener in the middle of doing my hair like you'll be in the middle of a curl turn it off and you'll be like why is my hair not curling oh yeah it's because you turned the straightener off the curling iron or whatever off so that is why i like freaking love it so much Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it'll keep like this. Yeah, that'd be fine. And 100%, I look like a crazy person when I do my hair because of how I part it and clip it back and stuff. So, ain't no shame in my game. And I do, I, because my hair is like kind of fine and thin and I'm not like a, 
I'm, I mean, I'm good at straight, I mean, curling my hair, but not like amazing. I do do like uh, smaller sections and they're kind of random. They're not really like, they don't really have any order. I just work like away from my head and move closer, which I really think that's like the back, like the opposite of what you're supposed to do, but it is what it is. It works for me. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Literally all this video has been, is only like 10 minutes right now. We're almost 11 minutes. I did not realize how fast I actually curl my hair with a straightener. And that one is a little mess up, but it'll be okay. Okay, now I'm getting closer to my bangs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bangs out of what needs to be curled. And just like that. I'm gonna put that over there. Oh, I hope you guys can be able to see me. I haven't looked at the camera in a long time. Not even gonna lie. Drop that down, and then we're gonna do like two separate sections for this. What's left? Bing, bing, bing. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I wanted it to be. And technically, I'm pretty sure what I'm curling right now is kind of a part of my bangs. But the thing is, is I want like this part to blend in with the rest of my hair. So I will show you guys how I do that. But I'm not gonna lie, I may mess up, mess up at first because I've got to where I kind of like flip flop how I do them. So bear with me on that. And I think I got those a little bit, but it'll be okay. So I'm not doing my bangs yet, okay? I'm not doing them yet. But you will see why here in a second. And I really love, I love cur like curling my hair because I feel like it lasts me. Like, I don't know, I feel like when I straighten my hair, I wake up and my hair just looks greasy kind of. Like, it just is weird. You know, the job is gonna click the button, but nothing changed because it has that little feature on it. Man, yeah, that curl is gonna be messed up. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm actually very surprised at myself that I only burn myself once because usually I do it about three or four times. So go me. And this part is finally part of my bangs, but like I said, I'm gonna curl this so that I can blend the other part in a little bit better. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this. And another thing is, you guys, I've learned that your curls um, tend to last a little bit longer if you wait until they've cooled down to brush them through. Okay, so how is that side? No, it's not okay. I'm like, why is that already look like I did them? 
Okay, so literally, I'm taking them like this. I'm going to brush them. Drop that piece down because it did not blow up there. Okay, and I gotta remember how I, which one I do. Because if I straighten my hair, I think I flip them like down. And if I'm curling, I think I flip them up. So hopefully I get this right the first time. So literally, you see that? Okay. Oh, that did not do good with that hair. Okay, so literally now, all I'm gonna do is that they've kind of curled a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is curl them like just the ends, like literally just the ends, nothing else. Oh, why did that sign not do it? Oh, of course, of course, of course. That side decides just to be stupid. There we go. There we go. Okay. So literally, and I'm going to come over here and do this side one more time because it's a little, like, not blend where it's supposed to blend out. Okay. So literally, guys, now, I'm going to spray this a little bit. And I kind of spray, like, away and then, like, move my head into it to kind of make sure I'm not getting too much on me. Okay. And then if there's anything, like, you see where it's like, oh. I want that piece curled a little bit more or, you know, I will go back and do touch-ups like for myself and stuff. So let's see, let me comb this out. Like use your hands, don't use, I don't ever use a brush. I think if you use a brush, it kind of makes it frizzier. So don't use a brush, don't use a brush. Okay, do not use a brush. Do not, do not, do not, I repeat, do not use a brush. Okay. And I kind of just start underneath and you start in the back because I did do the back of my hair first. Kind of come over and I am going to just kind of gently come through this up here because this is still kind of a little warm. And ow, not. Okay. And then you can kind of like make your curls like curl into each other to kind of like help give them that uniform look. And let me make sure it's exactly how I want it. And also I will go in and like lift up my roots because like what I just did kind of makes them a little flat, you know? So, all right guys. So I'm pretty sure this should be exactly how it was for my pictures. Like literally. Just toss it and like, okay, so what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of a crease on one of my curls. So what I'm going to do is to fix it is I'm going to take it Okay, and basically I'm just going to recurl it to help get the crease out. So if you ever have like a curl that just has a crease you can just go in and recurl it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this piece of my hair is like super weird and always acts like super dead on the end, so it never really cooperates with me. So, we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, okay. And I just lost the other, oh, I'm like, I lost the other piece I was supposed to do. Okay. Now, those pieces are gonna be like standing out. I'm gonna let them cool down. And I'm gonna make sure the front is how I want the front, basically. But you guys, that's literally all there is to it. If you have curtain bangs, that's super, super easy. Um, if I straighten my hair, basically what I do is instead of curling them like up, I curl like the straightener under. Um, and it just, it really helps them like blend in, but it helps give you the volume too. Like how it, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And like, say like up here, cause it did kind of pull them down today. 
I just do that. Like, just kind of, like, get the straightener and, like, kind of, like, literally. That's it. Super easy. That's why I really love this hairstyle. I'm going to try and see if you guys can see the back now. So, like I said, it's probably not exactly perfect because that one piece was a little messed up. But, overall, not going to lie, super, super happy with it. And super, super easy. This video is 20 minutes long. Um, most of it is probably me talking or trying to pin my hair back. Um, and like probably five at the end is me trying to fix that piece. So I love it. I love curling my hair like this. It's super easy. It'll kind of fall throughout the day and kind of be like really pretty, like just easy going waves. Um, but yeah, there's that hair tutorial if you guys wanted it. Um, and yeah, that is how I do my hair for like a nice curl effect. So see you guys later.